We're so far. Hold on. We are. I'm not used to being this far from you. I didn't want to like be you. all up in your business. No, I'm sorry. Awkward. Okay. Hi, Gorge. Hi. How are you guys doing? <laughs> you having fun so far? I'm so excited we saved the best for last, if I may say so, we can say that now. Because I keep saying, what is she wearing today? Who are you wearing? You look fabulous. Just some Adidas. Yes. I wanted to be comfy today. I'm a little like jet lagged. So I was like, I just want to be ready, you know, to jump out of a plane or take yeah. selfies. You never know what's going to happen here in Wales. Have you spent much time in this beautiful country of Wales? I, I haven't. I, I'm blown away by it. First of all, you guys are all amazing. I'm obsessed with each and every one of you. So give it up for the people of Wales. Y'all are it. Um, it really is my kind of town. Yeah. From, the, from the little I have seen, like the nature, how picturesque it is. Picturesque. You know, I just love it. I love it here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I have to say, we, we meet the nicest people doing Monopoly events. But this particular crowd, no pressure, has had the best questions, the most creative questions. And really? they've been so polite. So lovely. So, guys, we're going to let you ask your questions in just a minute. When I am done fangirling for Miss Cat Graham, and oh, I have please. to ask you a serious question. Now, I'm on your Instagram. I'm loving all of your photo shoots, all of your tour dates, everything. But I'm looking at your tour dates for 2024 and 2025. When do you rest? I, you, I, I went to bed at 7 o'clock last night, you guys. Well, that's good <laughs> because you are so busy. I mean, actress extraordinaire, musician, fashion icon, when do you actually rest? That, then, you know, seeing you guys is really such a highlight of my life. Like, if you guys only knew how much I fangirl over meeting each and every one of you and how you inspire me and, and you tell me your stories and how you guys connect with each other and, and, and how I've, I've met so many um, people in this room before or at different conventions or like, hey, I met you in, you know, 10 years ago or something and it becomes yeah. this, like kind of life journey kind of thing. So it's, you know, you guys give me so much love and energy and inspiration, and I hope, I hope to God I do the same thing. But yeah, I, I, I haven't really had, um, I haven't been home <laughs> too much. <laughs> My dogs are like, really? Really? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, who are you again? Is that you, Mom? No, but seriously, I mean, in, in a good way, it's great to see how much you do, and she keeps us updated on her Instagram, which we love. Um, we're going to get to your fashion shoots in a moment because I do love talking about that. But let's talk about your music. You because... do clearly. Can we give it up for her fashion? Oh, no. she is always she is always oh, no. serving. Thank you. I, I'm just so thrilled to, to see you again because we've gotten to chat with you before. And honestly, you have some of the most loyal fans. Yeah. We, we ride or die for each other for yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. But for your music, for your acting as well, but your music has really just been really inspirational for a lot of people. Tell us about your tour dates coming up and what's it been like to be on tour? I'm announcing, I'm announcing two very big ones because I haven't gone back to this place in about 10 years. Um, so I'm, I'm announcing them, I think, next week. Um, and yeah, it's been something that I've, I've always wanted to do. Like even when I was shooting Vampire Diaries on the weekend, I would go, yeah! 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 Um, I would go on the weekends and I would go um, record records or do shows. I remember one time I had done like a show at like a House of Blues or something in Florida and then I had to take like one of those little tiny puddle jumper planes because I was filming the next day. And, um, you know, I was always trying to balance the two. I wasn't very good at it all the time. But, yeah, it's always kind of in my nature to just be this kind of like the odd one. Out of the cast. So. Be a busy bee. I'm a busy bee. I'm you a busy are bee. indeed. Well, we have to talk about Vampire Diaries, you guys, because I mean, it is globally loved. It's and so wild. It is. Like, I'm like, there's a, a few uh, girls that I met like for the first time here. I mean, like, like I know you're 16. I know I, I'm like, so embarrassing. I'm sorry, <laughs> but like, you know, when when I shot the show, you were such a a, a kid, right? Because we launched in I think 2009. So for me, it's really mind blowing um, that people are knowing my work that were like kids when it started, and then I kind of like I I feel kind of like a cheat because I have like this eight years of a show under my belt and then they are still watching like the new stuff. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. And it's, and it's shocking to me. Like, I'm just like, what? You guys know about it? Yeah. You're still watching it? It's cool. <laughs> they are. They are, and you can see all of the seasons on streaming, which is so cool, and as you said, it spans generations. And we've interviewed so many of the Vampire Diaries cast. It's such a nice group of people. Yeah. Was there anyone um, on the show that you were either missing or that you were close with primarily when you were filming? I'm um, Ian, Ian for sure. Yeah, I mean, what a sweetie pie, yeah. Like, can we give it up for Ian Summerhalder, please? 
So imagine how kind and awesome he seems. Now times it by a hundred. Yeah. That's Ian Summerhalder. Um, so he he definitely was somebody who just. But I also I, I just we just lucked out. I mean like, I just talked to Nina. You know, I just like I'm constantly. Uh, just astonished by how how lucky I am to have had the cast that I did and the crew and just like the executives. I mean, I just, I really did, I did luck out, you know? I miss them. Seems like a really lovely group of people. I'm glad I get to see people. them next week in London. Yes! Who's coming to London with Raise us? Raise your hand so I oh, know. Oh, yay! Okay, you're coming to London. You're okay. coming to, yeah, I know y'all are coming to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's the first time Monopoly events has ever been in London, so very exciting. Really? Yes, it's going to be a huge deal. For the love of fantasy, if you aren't there, just come join Kat and I. Why not? For the so love cute. of fantasy, yes. Yeah, and let's go. Let's and the, have a good time. the Vampire Diaries fandom will be so happy to see you guys in the capital. We're going to represent, right? We're going to represent. Yes. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna turn it out. Well, if you have a question for Miss Graham. Yeah, ask me whatever you want. We've got a microphone right over here. I know you guys are going to ask a lot of questions, which we love to hear. Don't be shy. Feel free to introduce yourself as well. We've got some great questions here. And again, the most polite crowd here in Wales. Now, there's an after party, so people might be a little more wild later on. Yeah, let's but see we'll how see. you guys are, are tomorrow. <laughs> the other feel, yeah, the Sunday fun day crowd's like, ugh, when we first start asking Where's questions. Where's the after party? I don't even, somebody told me earlier, I can't remember the venue. Where is it? Who's, where is it? Newport Market. Newport Market. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Is it far? 20 minutes? Mm. Can I get a ride? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Who wants to give us a ride? We have a question from this lovely lady here. Hello. Hi, Kat. Uh, my name's Malika. Uh, firstly, Hi, Malika. I just, thank you. Um, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of you. I think you seem like an absolutely lovely person in real life, which Because you don't live me. with me. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's so much more impressive than your acting, which is also impressive, but I think being a good actor and a good person is really cool. Um, my question is, is there a question that you always hope you've asked, and what would be your answer to that question? No, I feel like... Even if I hadn't been asked it, I think sometimes when we meet each other or like it's like a selfie or like an autograph moment, we naturally talk about things or our lives or families, pets, whatever. I feel like I'm pretty an, an open book. I don't think you guys don't know anything um, other than I'm really sick of seeing that stupid pancake from... May, whatever, the, the, the day that never ended, the, the, the pancake, the blueberry pancake. Like, don't show me the pancake. I don't want to see the pancake. I'll sign the pancake. But that's the, like, that's the only thing I'm just like, that's something I wish people knew. I don't want to see the pancake. <laughs> I know, it, I know, I get it. I, I get the reference. I got it. <laughs> but other than that, no. Like, you guys can do what you want and just ask me whatever, you know. Um, I don't quite know how to ride a bike. There's a fun fact. Ooh. It's like, like, I don't know the reference, if you guys know the reference, but like weasels in a trench coat when they would like stand and just, it's like, like wobbly and stuff. Like I just, I don't really know how. So I have a tricycle. I have a, I have a yellow tricycle at home that I ride. That's so. a Comic-Con exclusive right there. There's your, there's your big exclusive. It's super edgy. Yeah. Super edgy. What if we had a bicycle come out right now? Like, here we go. Let's try I'd it. Fall just right <laughs> I'd fall right off the stage. I'd fall right off the stage. I would be like, run, everyone. Get out of your seats. Get out of the world. <laughs> yeah, I was at a market in, like, Rome, and I just was like, this is not good. Um, it was, yeah, so I'm embarrassed to say that. That's, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Thank Thanks, you. Dad. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Yes. Oh, you Thank too, Thank you for babe. sharing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she really should wish I kept that private, actually. <laughs> just between us. Just between us, kids. Hi, my name's Melissa. Thank you hey, for coming Melissa. to Wales. Oh, yeah, I love it um, here. Um, my question to you, so if there was a time capsule and you had to pick a scene that most, resented, like most um, represented what Bonnie was, what would you pick? Oh, I got it. And I normally don't have it because, to be honest, I haven't watched the show. I watch it once when it aired, and then I've never watched it again because I'm just... I do that with all my shows. I do that with everything, every movie, every episode. Like, it doesn't matter. I'll watch it once to see what takes they used of me. Um, and I don't, I don't watch it again. There's this one scene. I don't know. You can yell it out if you know which season or episode it was. But I was in the... Oh, Bonnie. 
uh, was in the garage and turned on the exhaust and she had basically lost every, um, or, or, or failed, I guess, at every attempt to get out of the prison world. And she's kind of like at the end and she sees, I guess, a light that comes or the a gar garage or something opens up and she's like, no, I'm gonna keep fighting. Um, and I think Jeremy was a ghost or something in the scene. Yeah. Yep, Recording. close, getting hot, yeah. hot. <laughs> um, what was it? That's right. So I think that if, that's, if there's a scene that really represents the character, um, and a lot of us, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it would have been that one, you know, just to keep fighting regardless of how difficult the circumstances might seem on the surface that just have a glimmer of hope and they'll get better. That's a beautiful answer. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm really proud of myself. I do love... <laughs> We're proud of you too. I do love when an actor doesn't remember something specific and then we turn to you guys like an encyclopedia and it's like, oh yeah. Oh no, like when I say like they're like, we're in it together, like no, 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 we're in it. What did we do? What was it? What, was, what happened then? You know, we're, you know, they've been on it with me. It's like the never ending story. Yeah. Hi Kat. Hi. Um, my question is whether it's your music career or your acting career, who would you like to work with or collaborate with? I really love Pharrell for music and then for acting. I was just talking to Kurt backstage, who if you haven't met him, you must meet him, he's legend. Um, that I really love Jim Carrey. Um, yeah. I forgot what it was, I think it was at a Monopoly event, but I met Helena Bonham Carter. It was at a Monopoly, yeah. I love her. Yeah. Um, and I totally fangirled out and I waited in line for my picture. <laughs> We yeah. love to hear that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I waited in line. I got my picture and I got it printed. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yay. See, like it's like such a real thing. Like I, I, I'm always amazed when I like meet um, artists or actors, and they're like, I don't really have time to watch TV or movies. I'm like, I hate that. I'm a super fan. I'm a super fan of music artists. A super fan of of actors. That's why I can't meet a lot of them because I don't know how to act. I don't know how you guys are so cool. I just like, <laughs> I just don't, I run away. I, I just like, I run out of the room. I start sweating. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a super fan of like so many different actors. And that's what's so cool about being at things like this because you get to actually have conversations with actors that you've watched. Like I love Giancarlo Esposito. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his work. He's like amazing. I like fan old for him like it's just there's so many people and it's okay like it's okay to be a, a fan of of a show of of a character of a song you know because you're that means you're inspired by it yeah. it really does so thank you so much that's a great question yeah. thank you i really i think you're amazing in vampire diaries as thank well. you so much oh, nice we love to hear of celebrities appreciating other celebrities you know it's so nice of you to share that i don't feel like i'm a celebrity really. <laughs> <laughs> totally are Hi, I'm Ruth, and I hey, wanted Ruth. to know, um, what was your favorite season of TBD and why? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't, it's, either, it's either like the first, where that was like, I think by season six, I had started working with this acting coach, Ivana Chubbuck, who basically was this, the, the she was the catalyst into like what made, you know, um, cause I didn't have a lot of scenes in the first few seasons. Um, and I was like, I'd get kind of frustrated and, and I was kind of like, I came from like poverty and I was like a backup dancer before. So I kind of was coming from nothing and then I wasn't getting as, as much screen time as I wanted. And, and I, and I, some, I would sit in her chair and I would be like, I don't understand like, why, why do I have to coach for this? Why do I have to keep trying? I don't know if you guys ever feel like that in school where you're just like, what's the point? Or, or just in your job, like why even make an effort? And she said something to me that really stuck with me. And she was like, you never know who's going to end up watching it. Like always, always, always do your best. She's like, Steven Spielberg could be watching it with, with his kids or, um, 
you know, you could have fans that in 20 years from now are gonna, are gonna watch, watch it. I'm like, Pfft. all right, yeah, okay. I'll just, I'll keep trying my hardest, even if I feel like, and like, this is wild. From 2009 to now, you're asking me questions about, it's just, it's mind blowing. And I just hear her in my head, like, see? See, I told you, just keep so, I don't know, just if you guys are in a job or in a in school or even in like a relationship or whatever and you're just like, why even make the effort, the grass is always greenest where you water it. So even when school or your job or the relationship just feels like, well, what's the point? Like, I promise you, just keep going and, and just give it your all and, and you'll look back in like 10 years and be like, I'm glad I did that you know, for you, right? If nothing else. So that's the honest truth. Great advice. Thank you. Thank you, you really inspire me. So oh, same. I, did they make a movie with Nina Dolberg? Ah, uh, yes. Can we vote for this? Can, who, do we, who do we write? Can we do like a petition like they do for the government or yeah, whatever? Take it to social Chris, media. I don't, yeah, just like somebody like yes. sign something. A Christmas movie. I love that. I would, yeah. I mean, you two are sitting there together. I, I literally would like, would do anything with Nina Dobrev. She's so much fun. I miss her all the time. I would like, you know, you should, anything. Show day two. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. Sorry about that. She has a new movie called The Bricklayer. You guys, please watch it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, um, I kind of have two questions, but I'll be really quick. Firstly, with Vampire Diaries, I feel like Bonnie got a bit evil. Did you like playing that, or was that a bit, <laughs> bit much? Um, first of all, <laughs> raise your hand if you've ever had a bad day. <laughs> now, raise your hand if you've ever made choices because you just weren't having too good of a day. Raise your hand if you ever made somebody mad. Raise your hand if you maybe disappointed yourself once or twice. So, it kind of happens, right? Did you enjoy that freedom? It's not about enjoying it. I mean, <clears throat> it's more about validating it. You know, it's okay to have bad days and it's okay to um, end up on the wrong side of the tracks as long as you find your way back to love and peace and, and you know, the things okay. that make flowers grow. <laughs> awesome. And um, my second question kind of reverts back to the scene that you enjoyed playing in the garage. Um, as someone who suffers with depression, how did you prepare for that scene? Hmm. Well, <laughs> man, y'all are getting all my business today. <laughs> oh, man. First of all, we all have things that we have to deal with in this life, and I think the first step to dealing with it is acknowledging that it's happening, right? And um, I, at the time, was having a really hard time in my personal life. Um, I had just lost a few people. Um, um, I think my mom was sick at the time. It's just like I really felt very alone. And, of course, cue in the Ivana conversation about like, okay, we'll just use it. And I'm like, ugh, you know, you hear that and it just sounds so like cliche BS actor stuff, but I was like, well, I wanna be great and I'd rather, I'm not gonna be a great artist if I'm dishonest. It's just not gonna happen, unfortunately. So I have to kind of give up the idea that I'm just gonna look perfect and cute all the time and just be honest. So I used honestly what I was going through um, and once I was aware that I was having, like this was, this was something that was really affecting me, I could own it and I could, you know, um, share it, you know. But I think the first step as somebody who has had family members um, suffer from uh, depression is just really just acknowledge that it's, it's first of all, it's okay. It's, a, it's, it's not unusual. A lot of people go through it, especially like, you know, post-COVID, I think we're all kind of like still navigating our mental health. And I think we don't really check in on ourselves enough, you know, I think like we spread ourselves so thin, we're not like really being like, am I okay today? Like, are you okay? Like, how are you? 
Like it's very rare if you've met me that I haven't been like, how you doing? And I wanna know, like I'm not gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna ask and I wanna know. And you gotta start doing that with each other. And we gotta, it's okay to answer honestly and be like, I'm having a hard day. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, and that's okay. Like, it's okay to be human, you know? And part of that is just keeping it real. We just gotta do that for each other as human beings, you know? Thank you for your openness. I love you, thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a real thing, man. Keeping it real. You're so cute. It's giving Hunger Games. <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> like, I'm like Poison Ivy's uh, department store sister. I love I don't know it. What's I think these Comic Cons are making me become a, a, a bigger and bigger redhead. Really? Yeah, it's just gonna keep getting redder, redder, and then it's just gonna be bright orange. I yeah. think by the end of the year, I think it's just gonna just keep going. Just, you could just, rock it. Let's see how 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 red I could be. Which is funny because Bonnie was red in the book, so I'm just like ah. Channeling your inner late. Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Um, my name's Carrie, and. Hi, um, Carrie. I was wondering what it was like meeting the Vampire Diaries cast for the first time. Oh my, well, I don't remember a lot of it. It was so long ago, but I, rem <laughs> I remember meeting Nina and she was dressed as Catherine in the trailer. And I, to, for, for some reason, I think I forgot that that was a part of the pilot. I was like, what is she, what is this girl wearing? And everyone's like really focused, but I didn't think anything of it. Cause to be honest, I thought it was just like a show that if it did get picked up, I wouldn't be in it because I didn't think I would make it that far. And I had shot five pilots before that show that never went anywhere, so I didn't, it wasn't a big deal. I was just like, eh, some actors, you know, shoot this and then go home and then go out for another audition and try another thing and, you know, just kind of be on that. Thing. I just didn't, I don't know. Everyone was chill. I mean, we're all so kind of like just young and, Everyone was chill. It was, a lot, it was a lot of pressure, I think, too, because the production and the pilot was a bigger production than anything I'd ever been a part of. I was like, wow, they, they're pretty hopeful about this one, you know? So, yeah, it was, it was chill. There was like, I don't know, it just felt like, you, you didn't think, you, if I knew what I know now, um, I don't know, I, I probably would have recorded more, but fun fact, I just remembered, I actually did record everything from behind the scenes of the pilot. I did record it. Um, I, I put it in something called Road to Oz, and it's like on my crappy camera before like there were iPhones. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Um, yeah, so I, I, at some point you guys will actually see what it was actually like when we met each other. Ooh. Yeah. What is it? Put it on Twitter. Put it yeah, on Twitter. I sh actually, I should. I think that's actually a great idea. I'll do it. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so I'll much. I'll post a little clip. I love you. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Mariana, and I have a question. Yes, Mariana. So, um, what character do you most relate to on The Vampire Diaries? Probably the one I played. <laughs> I put my heart and soul into her, so... Yeah, good days, bad days, fun days, for sure. I don't think there was anyone else I related to. I mean, I probably could have played a Grams. <laughs> you know, I related to, to Grams a lot. Yeah, what character did you relate to the most? Um, I don't know, really. <laughs> if you had to think about it. No. <laughs> You're pretty young. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe mom should have started you with Ninja Turtles. <laughs> No judgment, mom, but. <laughs> <laughs> Team Bonnie all the way. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Kat. Firstly, congratulations on your first wedding anniversary. Oh, thank you. Yay. Yay. We made it. We made it. Yay for love. You guys will see him tomorrow. I don't know if I'm doing a panel tomorrow, but you guys will see him. He'll be, he'll be here. So, so say hi to him. <laughs> so my question is, as an actress, you are challenged with many different scenes, but what was the most challenging scene that you had as an actress on Vampire Diaries? It was kind of the, like the turning point for me because I had, I had acted before. I had done like Malcolm in the Middle and like, you know, Disney stuff, but I hadn't really been forced to have to kind of the tap in that they call. And I had done it like I, a good little, you know, drama actress. Like I've done like I've cried in scenes and stuff on other shows. Like it wasn't like some 
obscure idea, but it wasn't something that, um, so, uh, you guys, some of you might know this story. God, this is such an honest panel. I gotta stop being so relatable, guys. Okay, <laughs> I'll work on it. So I had a, I had a, um, I had a scene, season one, where Grams died. But what a lot of people don't know is that um, that week my real life grandmother passed away. And the day before we shot that scene, I had to uh, bury my grandmother. And um, my, my mom's side of the family um, is, is, is Jewish, my father's side is Christian, and then that particular um, religion, you have to like, actually like you throw um, um, dirt on top of the coffin. And, um, and then at the same time, I had been reading this, this, you know, the woman who became like my mentor, like my, my second mom, Ivana Chubbuck. And I had been reading her book because she was like one of those like big famous acting coaches, like had like taught, um, like Halle Berry and Charlize Theron, like these, Brad Pitt, these like huge people. I never thought I'd work with her. Um, but I was reading her book, um, I think Ian gave me her book, actually. Um, and there was a scene in there called The Coffin Exercise, and they have you do the same thing where you can like hear the, the dirt on the, on the grave. And it was like a really dark thing that I had never really tapped into, like the real things. Um, uh, scared me, to be honest. It really scared me to do. Um, I remember Nina being there. Um, and I remember the scene because, and I remember having that feeling of having to like leave my mom to mourn while I went to go work the next day. And of course, how the universe is, it was literally like within 24 hours of burying my real grandmother. And I was sitting with Ivana's book and I was like, I didn't know her. I was like alone in, in Atlanta, Georgia. I was like 19, 20 or whatever. I was like a baby. And I was like, well, I can either kind of call it in and shut down and fake it, or this will be the turning point as in my career as an artist. And it was, I just was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it then. I guess this is, this is the time to do it. And I had this moment where like, I felt this like chill down my spine, like as that kind of moment that you feel when something like really hits you, like from your soul. And I did it, and that was the, a lot of people think that Vampire Diaries was the thing that broke my career, like that broke me into like the, the pop zeitgeist and like made me famous, but it's actually the work within it. And that was like the catalyst that kind of gave me roots and made me like stand, like the truth is actually what will be the thing in your life that will um, be your power. Your, your heartbreak and the things that make you different and the things that make you insecure is actually your superpower. And I wish more people knew that, especially like my young fans that might have like insecurities. My God, if you knew that the thing that you're so insecure about is your superpower, if you just knew it, if you just knew the thing that made you different would be your biggest weapon. My God. So, that's the truth. So, thanks. Thank you, Michelle. Well, thank you so much. Now we are, that was beautiful. We are running a bit uh, short on time, so we've only got a few questions here. So if you can just keep it to one question, please. Thank you so much. Hi, Kat. I think you're absolutely amazing. You almost made me cry then. Um, <laughs> I really like what you're wearing and I feel the same way. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask, so I think The Vampire Diaries is a comfort show for so many people. And it, yeah. it is for me, I can watch it when I'm doing anything. It's just one of those shows that will make me That's so calm. Nice. And I wondered if you had a comfort show that made you just feel relaxed and calm and you can just... It's so dumb compared to like... <laughs> I was hoping insane. it would be dumb. Oh my gosh, it's so dumb. Um, hey, I'm so glad. 
It's a movie that you guys probably don't even know. It's called Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Yes. <laughs> All the business women in the crowd are post-it creators. Yep. There's a reason there's always post-its at my table. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I like really watching like silly rom-coms. Like I love like girlfriend comedies. I, I love bridesmaids. <laughs> I love things that make me laugh. Um, I, I, I think it's okay. I, I just love, I love comfort shows. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the first thing that came to my mind and I've watched it so many <laughs> times. So that's the truth. I also love Harry Potter. I can never get enough Harry Potter. That's good. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. As long as, long as you're not a Slytherin, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah I, 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 I dated a Slytherin and I didn't know it. <laughs> Brian, Bri my, my husband is a Gryffindor. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he's, he's a straight up Gryffindor. A nice little pair then. Yeah. Straight, a yeah, he's, straight up Gryffindor. He's a straight up Gryffindor, yeah. He's straight up. What are you? Do you know? I am totally a Ravenclaw. I could so see that. Yeah. I just so am. see that. Yeah. Like I Luna have a little I... bit of like Hufflepuff shame though, right? Like I'm just like, oh God, they're going to know what kind of person I am. I'm just saying I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm such, I'm such a puff. I'm such a puff. Straight up Hufflepuff. Yeah. Robert Own Pattinson. It, right? Yeah. 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 Robert, Robert Pattinson. Thing. Yeah. He was a Hufflepuff. Cedric Diggory. He was badass and cute. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But you seem like a helpful puff, you know. Totally. <laughs> Thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I love that this is a conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Kat. It's Hi, Summer. Um, I was just wondering, because obviously I'm a redhead as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You're a darker redhead. Yeah. What made you decide to dye your hair red? Well, I just, I don't know. First of all, you guys, like, I'm just going to say it. I would see so many of you guys, and you are just rocking red hair. And I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going like, to commit and just like do some like fun thing. And I just, I don't know. I also have this project called the Revenge EP, which is kind of like this dark, kind of edgy 80s pop vibe that is coming out. So it felt like kind of it made sense with the music. It made sense with this like short film that I have coming out. Like, it's kind of like an era. Um, so, yeah, I just, you guys are just like the best redheads. And I just love seeing you guys rock red hair. And I was like, I thought we'd look cute in pictures together. So I turned my hair around. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. It looks beautiful on you. Yeah, so cute Two. on you. I love it. Two final questions. Hi there. Hi, uh, my name's Wakushla. I've come to say a question for Nick. Give a wave, Nick. She's up there. She is. Um, she said, Damon and you had a really good relationship on yeah, screen, but yeah. who was your favorite actor or actress to work with? It's, you know, I have my favorite moments with Ian, I had my favorite moments with Paul, with Nina. Um, I, I, it's hard, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, nothing can really like compete with the Ian Prison World stuff. We worked so hard on that stuff together. Michael Malarkey was so much fun to work with. Um, they were just, God, they just, we, we busted our butts, you know, we worked really hard on that stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Do you have a favorite kind of duo that, uh, somebody I worked well, with? Well, Nick, do you have a favorite? Paul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's like kind of an, like one of those like natural, he's like a natural. Like he could literally get like a script and a huge change and he's just like one of those people that can just like drop in and just like knock it out. I am not that way. I am not naturally good at anything. I have to work really hard <laughs> to be decent. So, but yeah, Paul is an absolute natural. He makes everyone look good. Thank you. Thank Great you. question. Thank you. Quick question for me because this is very serious. Now working with Paul and Ian and you're still friends, have you tried Brothers Bond bourbon. I did, and it was a total fluke. I was at some like restaurant waiting for a friend, and uh, somebody asked me like what I wanted to drink, and I was like, yeah, I'll try some whiskey. And then I drank some, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And he was like, oh, it's Brothers Bond. The guy, the bartender, had no idea who I was or my connection to it at all. So it was just he was like, what, what is? It? I was like, I just never. No, don't worry about it. Um, but it was so good, it's and it's it's really good. I'm really I'm really proud that they kind of, kind of kept their legacies yeah. going, yeah. you know, and kind of just did this whole company together. I think it's really cute. Yeah, we love the branding. We have a final question from we this lovely lady here. 
And um, I'm a total Ravenclaw as well. Just putting that out there. Oh. <laughs> um, the books are obviously very. So you were Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Oh, you're Ravenclaw. Okay, cool. <laughs> we're a little um, loony. The books are very different to the TV series, and Bonnie is very different in the books to the TV series. I found. Is there anything from the books that you wish you could have brought to the screen? I think red hair. <laughs> Other than red hair. <laughs> red hair, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. You guys wrote the best fan fiction. I don't know if there was like a whole, yeah. if any of you guys remember like Tumblr. Yeah, like you guys would write the best fan fiction and you would think that I would have gotten enough of like writing and stuff from being on the show, but I would actually like <laughs> print out like some of the stuff that I would read and bring it to the writers. I'm like, why aren't you doing this? You know, I, I, I don't know. Everything that, that I saw, a lot of that I saw um, on Tumblr when, when I would read the fan fiction was just like giving. I was like, yes, yes, yes. So I don't know. I, I've, I've, I, I don't think I would ever come back to the show unless you guys wrote it. There we go. Thank you. You've got your homework. Mic drop. Mic drop. Two final uh, questions from me. Uh, can I correct the last one, please? Okay. Oh. Hi. Sorry. Hey. Sorry, just worked up the, the courage to do it. Yeah, no, yeah. Give it up for him for the courage. Um, in the beginning, Bonnie wasn't too fond of Damon and Stefan. Was there a character you weren't too fond of in the beginning and started to get warm up to? A character or an actor? A uh, character or actor <laughs> or both. Imagine if it was the other one. <laughs> we'll talk privately. <laughs> um, you know, in the beginning, sorry, what was your name? Uh, Jack. Jack. That was my grandpa's name. Um, in the beginning, honestly, like, I didn't quite know who the characters were. I barely even knew who Bonnie was. Like, I was still trying to figure out where I was, what I was doing, you know, the, the understanding of the arc of the character that was gonna take me through however long the show was gonna last, that I don't think I knew them well enough to know who to like or dislike. I mean, I think there were certain characters where I was like, this, like, why would I even, I don't know. There were certain things, I didn't even know that I, I even understood my character enough to like her, let alone love her. And I think by the end, I really loved her. You know, um, but in the beginning, I, I, I was even scared to like love any character that I played because the, the ending of them would like break my heart, you know, so I didn't want to get too close to any character that I've ever played, which is almost like my motto now. Like I do, I do so many different things. It's like you don't want to fall too, you don't want to be too attached to it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. My own? I don't know. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Thank Thanks, you, Jack. Jack. Yes, just two small questions for me. What is next for you after Comic Con Wales? And you can say Comic Con any final London. Words. Yay! Comic Con Ireland! Woo! Where and Belfast, yes. Yes. And then any final words to your adoring fans because you just take so much time and you make so many great <sighs> memories with fans. us here. These yes. are the homies. What do you mean, fans? Yeah. These, are my these are my girls and boys. This is my, this is my, we're a team, we're a crew, you know. Um, and. Life is gonna happen, right? Like shows end, relationships end, like life goes on, you grow up, you graduate, you know, you'll be moms one day and all those things and just do your best to be grounded, do your best to be present, do your best to be real and honest, do your best to not be hard on yourselves. Um, love the people that you're around while you have them, tell them that you love them um, and we're just gonna, just keep doing what we do, you know, I guess. I don't know. Let's just, just stay connected and, and just treat each other with love, no matter who we are. If we're on a TV show where it's just like somebody like, you know, cleaning a bathroom stall, like let's just try and be level with each other. Don't treat me like I'm something like, like that. I'm not. I'm not. I poop like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Give it up for pooping! Yeah. <laughs> We're I, just, I love that you now. guys and just like let's just just treat each other exactly the same golden rule that's it that's all i have to say i love you I guys love you're amazing thank you for having me ending on a beautiful note as always with the beautiful cat graham please show your appreciation